Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your week. My day's been kind of weird in a way. I went, I got up, got dressed, went to work as usual, but about an hour into my day, we got alerts and emails and people came over the loudspeakers that there was a water main break in the building. And for those of you who don't know, I work full time at Pitt. I'm a project manager. I work on the 33rd floor of the Cathedral of Learning, where today we had to stay in place because we were safe and the water was flooding floors three and below. They told us that it would be cleared up by noon because, hey, there's some people that go out to lunch every single day and they need to eat and leave the building for meetings. I mean, we have meetings all over campus all the time. Um, but I did not believe them. We actually went to investigate. So three of us decided, hey, we're gonna go check this out and see what we can see. So we got all the way down from 33 to what floor we, we got to the 10th floor and a police officer was coming up the steps to start telling us to stay in our offices because it was just a mess downstairs. So back up we went, we had to walk because the elevators have been shut off because there was a lot of water apparently going down the elevator shafts, which that makes it fun when you're again on the 33rd floor. So long story short, at about 1130, we officially got the notification that we needed to evacuate because they needed to shut the water off throughout the building. And therefore we began our descent from floor 33 all the way down to G. It might sound like, you know, no big deal. You're walking down steps. I assure you that your quads, your calves, and your lower body is still getting a good workout. And it's not even good for your knees to walk down all of those steps. So technically speaking, I think I walked down, what, like 53 flights of stairs and up 23. Um, so I feel like that was more than enough of a workout for me today. So here I am, it is now, um, you know, after five, Sophie is at gymnastics class, Mark is with her, and I am going to get dinner ready. I don't know about the rest of you, um, whether you have kids or not, I feel like most people have like a spot in their house where they just put their stuff. And for me, that's our kitchen, like countertop, our island. Yes, Sarah, it was rough, it was not fun. Thank God your dad was not here with us today. Um, so I feel like every day I walk in and it's just like a new, it's like a bomb goes off. Like I got Sophie's school stuff that she comes home with more papers every day that I know what to do with. I mean the sheer volume that they send these kindergarten, kindergartners home with. And I'm assuming that it gets worse if you have more than one kid and as their grade levels go up. So that's something that I have to look forward to. But anyway, it like there's dishes in the sink, there's, you know, we're unpacking like our Tupperware, and now you gotta deal with dinner, okay? And they're gonna be home in an hour. So what I wanna talk to you guys about today is again, it's just a little meal pre prepping tip that I do that helps us out. I made, actually Mark made this lovely looking meatloaf yesterday. There's like five ingredients maybe and then some spices, whatever you wanna put in there. He said it was very easy to make and it just cooks in the oven for probably about 45 minutes to an hour, so I should probably throw this in, right? So you just cook it in the oven for an hour and then you have time to deal with the explosion of crap that is in the rest of your house. Like Sylvie's rooting through the recycling bin. We got two boxes to, to deliver to the house today. Actually, I think it's for the dogs, so. Um, they'll be excited about that. But the last thing that you wanna deal with is what to make for dinner. I will tell you this, so that meatloaf took about 10 minutes to make yesterday. I just covered it with tin foil and I'm firing in the oven today. Like literally my hands are clean. I didn't have to do anything. And it was really simple. It's ground turkey, a little bit of fresh garlic cloves, um, eggs are in there. Quinoa is in there in salsa for a fun twist on meatloaf. And I know that that might sound kind of crazy, but if you've never tried it before, I think it's a great way to try something new. It's something easy, and it's something you can kind of serve your whole family. Meatloaf is something that goes a long way. You can double that recipe, and you can have two larger loaves, um, which would be nice if you have more than um, you know three people. I mean, it's just me, Mark, and Sophie. So we'll probably eat most of that tonight, 
and maybe have leftovers later on in the week. What would be awesome to pair this with, and I feel sad that I didn't think about this sooner, would be um, like mashed cauliflower or rice cauliflower. Oh, that would have been so good to go with meatloaf. But I don't have any on hand because I've been limiting cauliflower because it is a high FODMAP item and I've been really trying to pay attention to those things so darn it I do not have any so I'm just gonna serve it with green beans but even if you have um, if you have regular potatoes there's nothing wrong with regular potatoes I'm gonna be clear about that they're just not a vegetable and you really have to watch your portions most people just kind of scoop without paying attention to portion sizes and that's where you get in trouble so if you are having regular potatoes or mashed sweet potatoes more power to you they pair really really well with meatloaf and i just want to caution you to measure it out so we're gonna have green beans as a vegetable side with that but that's how quick and easy that it was to kind of make have a really fun yummy meatloaf dinner tonight and now i can deal with the rest of the mess that is in the house it's such a struggle i don't know what you people with more than one kid do with all of these papers and things like that i seriously am like trying to like hide them in the recycle bin i don't know what's important to keep picture day is coming up it's just a lot so if you want the meatloaf recipe let me know I'd be happy to share it but it was super simple it was just a package of ground turkey meat a half a cup of salsa um, a half a cup of cooked quinoa um, like three cloves of garlic two eggs no one egg and then you can just use sea salt you can use pepper you can put anything else in there that you want but it was super simple. You can prep that in advance. You can make that today. You can make it three days from now. It's still gonna be all good. Just cover it with foil, put it in your fridge, and then cook it, 375. I would say at least 45 minutes. Give it a check, see if it's done. If not, just keep it in there a little bit longer. Um, if you have a really good meatloaf pan, I feel like that is the key to an excellent meatloaf. Bread loaf pans, I have found, are not as good as an actual meatloaf pan and yes they sell them i think i got mine as a gift but it was from macy's and it's awesome i can't pronounce the name of it it starts with a c it ends with a fawn stuff so heck i can't do it i'm not even gonna do it but that's what it is i know if you've seen that brand before you know what i'm talking about um but they sell them at macy's and it is an actual meatloaf pan and it's sort of two pans in one so one pan sort of sits in the other one and it helps with the grease draining out and so the meatloaf doesn't stick and it just pops right out and it's mm -mm -mm, yum. I hope that helps you guys out. Mondays are always such a tough day getting started. Um, I feel like most people feel frazzled. You're just running around and it just starts this, this hustle of the week and you don't want to start your week off wrong. So make sure you got your workout in, drink lots of water and have some meatloaf tonight. So if that isn't enough for you please let me know how I can help you out and I'm gonna go clean up this mess before the rest of the family gets in have you guys have an awesome night and I'll let you guys know how the meatloaf turns out later